I've been a digital artist for over 10 years now. I love making things, you know, with my hands, touching things, feeling things, smelling things, you know. I design all these things on the computer and I've done so much research into it that it just dawned on me that it's like it probably would work if I actually built it, right? So I just started building them. And a lot of things don't quite work out the way you intend it, but that's kind of the beauty of creation, right? You're just kind of noodling around until you get to the state where it's kind of cool. If you try to think everything out, you end up with something pretty standard. When you start adding chaos into it, you end up with something usually better and unusual. I don't design really anything. I hack things together. I'm not really a trained engineer. I just try it, and if it doesn't work, I try it again. I don't have a clear vision, but I know it when it's right. I work off of feeling a lot. Just It's just an emotional thing. I do think a lot about the personality of the character. For the most part, I like to make people laugh or smile or chuckle. The Steamwalker, for example, is very quirky, you know, it's kind of whimsical. It's mostly the way it walks, it's just like, it barely works, and that's the, kind of the charm of it. But they're not really robots in the traditional sense. They're not smart. I'm not really programming them, you know. It's not like I hit a button and a set of moves go, and then it stops, and then wait for the next instruction. This is real time. It's like a puppet. Because of that, I can make things kind of feel alive. Even though it barely works, it doesn't really do anything. It's believable because it's different. There's a human touch to it, you know. I'm, I'm making that thing come to life. <laughs>